So while the machine is cooling down, let's take a look at the log of the roast that we just did together. So go to the web portal, that is front.roastcoffee.com. Click on log, again, either next to your machine or up on the menu here at the top. This takes us to a list of all of the roasts that you've done on this machine. On the left, you can see the date, time, and batch number. In the middle here, the name of the profile that the roast was based on. And then over on the right, some basic information about the roast. So the roast we just completed together is this one here. If I click on it, it takes me to the log view for that roast. You can see the roast curve, which is more or less the same as what we saw in the live view. Again, you can turn some of these lines on and off if you want to simplify what you see here. If you want to get an exact reading for any of these measurements at a particular point in the roast, you can hover over the graph and a tooltip will pop up showing you the exact reading from each sensor. On the left here, you can record some extra information about the roast. For example, you can give the batch a name as well as a number by clicking on the edit symbol here and entering a name. You can record the starting and ending weight of the batch, give it a color reading, and you can add some information about the beans that you roasted. Or you can select a lot from your inventory if you're using that. Below that, you can see some more information about the roast, including any scores that you gave this in cupping. Over on the right here, there's a few small icons for different options for changing the view or downloading the log. I'll let you explore those on your own. On the far right, there's a space here for leaving some notes about the roast. But at the bottom here, there's a couple of other interesting options I want to show you. The first is move events. This means that if you think you marked first crack in the wrong place, you can change that. Just enter in the correct time and it will update the log. Then delete batch is pretty self-explanatory. But after that, you have create profile from batch. This can be really useful. If you did a manual roast and then you want to use that as a profile for future roasts, for example, you can click on it and it will give you the option to create a profile based on the roast that you just did. So if you choose air temperature, for example, it will create a new profile that follows the air temperature you recorded when you did this roast. The last option here is compare with batch. If you click on that, it brings you to the compare view. But right now we only have this one log selected, so there's nothing to compare to. If you want to add more logs to the comparison, click on list up here in the top right, and then select some of the other batches that you want to compare with. You can select as many as you want by clicking on the symbol with the two beans here on the far right. So select a couple of logs, and then in the top right, click on compare to go back to the comparison view. Now you can see the logs of these roasts on the same graph, so you can compare one to the other. Again, you can decide which information you actually want to see here by selecting or deselecting from the options at the bottom. And doing a comparison like this is a really great way to check how consistent your roasts are, for example, or maybe to work out why one roast might taste better than another. If you want to get out of compare mode and just go back to looking at individual roasts, then go back and click on list up here on the top right, and then choose the log that you want to look at again. So, our tour of the roast is nearly over. Congratulations on sticking with us this far. In the next video, I'm going to show you just a couple of things about cleaning and maintaining your roaster. It's really simple, but don't be tempted to skip it. It's really important for keeping your machine running. See you in the next video.